And one of the things I loved about this was how non-judgmental it was when it was looking at the kind of world of arranged marriages. I think your character says one really good point about saying about how the people that know you best are your parents. Mm. So maybe they're quite good people in some regards to try and help yeah. navigate your I'm just wondering if that was something that came off the kind of screenplay for you both, because it felt quite unique the way it was tackling that. Yeah. I suppose it's the only way we'd want it to be told mm. to, in a non-judgmental You know, if it was the other way, it'd be, be stuck in the past and in some mm. ways, yeah. Um, well, yeah, that's, that was what was very exciting about it, trying to mm. telling it in, a, in an honest way. Mm. Yeah, I think that was obviously, you know, Jemima's got so much of her own experience and, you know, wanted to explore it all, like banishing any stereotype and millions of couples across the world have arranged marriages every day. So we wanted to look at it, you know, um, honestly and, and without judgment. I know you, you guys have known each other a while, is that? A long time. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think we figured it yeah. out maybe 14, 14 years. Oh, like wow. That. Was this the first time you've worked together properly? Or Second time. Two, two IMDb credits together. Yeah, That's crazy. Maybe. That's In crazy. the space of like a year. In the space of a year. No, that is, <laughs> is, it's really hard to comprehend how actually mm. weird that is. It's, yeah. it's a very special thing and I can't, um, I think when I'm like 80 and like I'm watching like the new version of Sky or whatever, I'll be like, seeing a movie together. You'll be, be on so, VR, you'll be in the yeah, world like, yeah, like watching yeah, yeah. a movie. But I hope yeah. you will do more. Yeah. But how much does that help? Because when, when you sign up to a project, particularly when, particularly when there's a romantic angle, and you know you've got to at times manufacture a kind of mm. a chemistry or relationship with someone, when you both <clears throat> sign up to a project and go, I know that person, and I know I get on with that person, does it just help with the kind of comfortability of, of getting onto of set course. and starting the project? Totally. We already have a whole shared history and a shared sort of um, experience and friendship, and that's what Zoe and Kaz have. So it's particularly, I think regardless of the, the storyline, knowing someone means you have a shorthand mm. and you know them and you trust them and you can look at them in the eyes and you can feel safe. But for us, particularly with this storyline, the fact that they friends. are old friends and we are old friends, we could like directly use that energy. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not just a, a romantic piece. I mean, obviously, there's more. The characters are struggling with identity. They're kind of where they are, kind of in their lives. And obviously, I think your character talks about how he's kind of judged in society as well. Just wondering about because when we go as an audience member to see a film, we see it as a, a rom com. We kind of go in the rom com brain. Mm -hmm. As actors, when you sign up to a rom com, do you still treat the, the characters as you would any character in any genre you're in? I think you always have to mm -hmm. play the truth. That's that mm -hmm. simple. Like just try and oh, obviously, there's certain things, and if the director says you need to do it, like, or well, you know, there's, or... there's 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 things that you need to tweak, but generally it's it's play the truth of the of what's happening, yeah. Especially in this kind of a rom com, because it really is bigger than that, and there is so much, like you said, about a family and identity and intimacy and love. So it felt like we were being <coughs> a massive disservice to Jemima's script if we didn't explore that honestly. But also, you know, to a certain extent, when there are other jokes and the stuff with certain characters, they also elevate and bring those alive because it's funny. I want to ask because I mean Emma Thompson playing your mum is always pretty great, mm. isn't it? When I, ju I was just wondering about in terms of because uh, I love when you get sort of great roles played by great actors and actresses as, as your parents. Who would be your dream and not not people you've already worked with, but your dream on screen parents? I'm gonna go um. off the top of my head, Benicio del Toro to play my dad, mm. and. Juliet mm. Binoche to play my mum. Oh, Juliet Binoche, <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> I wouldn't mind Kate Winslet being my mum. Yes, <laughs> yes. I don't know about Dad. I interviewed Benicio Del Toro once and I was wearing shorts because it was the summer and he looked at me and went, you wear that to interview me? And I went, yeah, but I'm not on camera. He says, yeah, but I can see you. <laughs> it was scary. And he looked at me with this big smirk and I was like, no, I think he's joking. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I terrified. Oh, um, also, I think Kate Winslet's way too young to be my mum, by the way, just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you so much. Film. Thank you. Really Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!